Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, let's talk about friction bearing nuts and the advantages they have over other nuts in the market. The primary function of the nut is to take the collet and to push it into the tool holder. And it does this by applying force on the inside of the nut to the outside of the collet. Now, if I take my collet and I put it inside this nut and I rotate it, I can feel there's friction inside. And we've shown this friction before in previous videos where we show how much wear and frictional distortion the metal can have inside. Now, Regofix solved that part by coming out with the high Q nut, but it still has friction on the top of the collet and the inside of the nut. To combat this, Regofix developed what's called the friction bearing nut, and you'll find this offered in all the standard ER series. What this does, it's a multi-piece nut. There's just the outside body and there's an inside race. Two chemically treated surfaces reducing the friction. What's important is what it does with that friction. It takes the friction away from the top of the collet and places all the force inside the nut itself. So there's no more drag or pull on the top of that collet. It actually drives it down more centered and allows you to have higher clamping forces. So what's the advantage of this over other nuts that are in the market? So let's talk about that for a moment. Other manufacturers have come out with their own versions of high performance nuts, and they each have their own merits. So I've grabbed a couple off the shelf from our competitive products, and what I wanna point out is what makes ours different. So one of the nuts is actually a friction bearing style nut. The only problem is, well, the bearing inside the nut is really, really sloppy. It has a lot of movement to it. This is actually gonna cause very high frictional points and it's not gonna last very long in the overall process. And it's also not chemically treated to reduce friction on your thread areas or any of the internal assemblies. So we're gonna say this is somewhere less than a high Q nut, but higher than a standard metal nut. Another very, very popular type of nut that's out in the market is the ball bearing nut. And this is the primary competition that we see to the friction bearing. It does work very well. The only problem is it has standard round ball bearings inside. And I went ahead and took one apart. I could have all the different parts here in front of us. And these are standard round bearings. As I tighten my assembly together, those round bearings are getting squished. Every time they get squished, they basically get deformed and I create little micro flat spots on each one of the ball bearings. So over time and use, I have to rebuild the nut or I have to replace it. That doesn't happen when you have the high Q bearing nut from Regofix. The friction bearing nut from Regofix doesn't have ball bearings. There's nothing inside to deform. So our system is designed to give a much longer life with those higher clamping forces. It just makes life a lot simpler. When your application dictates maximum clamping force, more than you would normally get with the already impressive high Q nut, it's time to move up to the friction bearing nut. Again, it's gonna give you 20 to 30% more clamping force than the regular high Q. In those heavy applications where clamping force is critical, move up to the high Q. My name is David McHenry. This is Regofix Tech Chat. Thank you for joining.